everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I am using my flexi finger with a stiletto tip in to create a peacock nail using the same technique as um, I did in the peacock uh, unicorn video that you would have seen earlier. Uh, I think I uploaded it on Monday um, or Sunday. My brain's not working. It's too early. Um, anyway, I'm going to create a peacock now using that same technique. And then later on, um, I think it will probably be uploaded next week, I'm going to recreate the unicorn because I forgot to press record stupidly. So you didn't see how I created the unicorn. So I will upload a unicorn now for you all next week. Um, but in this one, we're going to create a peacock. So this is Aphrodite acrylic from CJP and it's got a beautiful green tinsel through it, it's lovely. Um, these feathers that I'm, I've picked out a green one but you get multicolored feathers in a packet and they're available from Nail Sugar. So I've just popped the feather onto the wet acrylic but I do have to use glue as well. I'm just gonna snip away the excess feather. Feathery bits. <laughs> do keep hold of that other, the, the other bit of feather that we cut off though, because you might be able to use that in another nail. Um, I'm just using, this is the, this is my glue I got with my training hand. I'm just gonna use that to stick down the fly away bits of feather that didn't stick to the acrylic and then I'm going to encapsulate this in clear and I will file and buff it once it has set so this is where we're at now um, I'm going to be using my nail Kami eight millimeter detailing brush to paint on the peacock and I'm going to be using Nelkami Artisan gel paints. I think I use the blue, the white, the black and the green. You can buy the whole set of 12 colours for £75. They are well worth it. I love them. And also you get this detailing brush for free in the box which is a bonus. Um, I'm gonna paint on now the peacock. So I am, as you probably know from previous videos that I've done hand painting, I am terrible at, um, oh, unless it's quite simple, I struggle to draw things from my head. So I need, I usually Google images from, um, uh, on my iPad of whatever I want to draw and then once I find one that I like I will use that as reference which is exactly what I've done with this peacock so I'm using the blue um, to just sort of create the outline of the peacock's body and then I've got some black now and I'm just using that to mix into some parts of the blue just to create some shading although that blue is pretty dark so you can't really you can't really see much difference <laughs> I'm going to cure that, um, I think I cured it for 30 seconds, um, I went ahead and used the pink, oh, I will use the pink as well, to create the beak, but I went out of I went out of shot on my camera so I just deleted that bit, um, it's literally just like a triangle, and then I've used the white just to, again, to create some shading, um, I don't know why I put the white on the back of my glitter tray, because I could have just taken it out of the pot. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm <laughs> um, uh, just going to create a little bit of detail on the peacock's head now. So this white just sort of goes around the eye and then down the beak. Again, I do put a little black eye in, but you can't really see it because the blue is quite dark. I, perhaps I should have lightened the blue a little bit. Um, I've just mixed some white with blue now just to create uh, some shade, a uh, lighter blue so that we can add in some shading. Here we go. So I have cured that again. Um, Oh, I think I've just done the black dot for the peacock's eye. 
but I did add a, a black dot for the peacock's eye too. So again, you would have seen me do this in the previous video, um, so I haven't filmed me doing all of them, but just where there are green circles um, in, that, in that feather, I am just going around it with some gold artisan gel paint not covering the whole circle just just a bit of it just enough so that we can create uh, some of the the eye type looks in the feather you know the peacock feathers have got those eyes on that's what we're trying to create now um, I've mixed some of the blue artisan gel paints with a green and white to create this more turquoisey color and I'm just going to use this to go inside the gold um, the gold overly patterns <laughs> can you tell it's early uh, and then we're going to use the blue on its own and just pop some little dots inside the turquoisey colour so then that will be the eyes complete I love this I, I'm re I really and, oh, I just love this nail If I do so so myself. <laughs> so, and I'm going to cure this for a full 60 seconds. This is what she looks like so far. Actually, it's a he, isn't it? Peacock's this uh, prettier he's. So I'm going to top coat it now. My little boy knocked me and I was like, no, don't knock me. <laughs> this is the important bit. <laughs> So we're going to top coat now. So this is going to bring everything to life. And the thing I really liked about the um, Aphrodite acrylic was that you can see the green shimmer of the tinsel underneath the feather. And it kind of looks like the feathers are kind of iridescent. But it's not as the acrylic, if you see what I mean. But it just gives it that really nice kind of effect. I was really pleased with how this now turned out. Um, if you did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And next week, I will upload the unicorn now for you all to see. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Loves ya. Bye.